Hi and welcome to the channel. I want to make a quick video of how I was able to update my power settings on my MSI laptop to make it run a lot cooler than it did before. I tried a lot of different things like undervolting and uh, using the super fan mode and using a cooler pad but never really had any success. So have a look at this little tutorial and see if this helps you with your temperature issues that actually most MSI laptops has. So what you want to do is you want to go into the advanced power plan settings and in here you want to go down to the processor power management and in here you have the options to select minimum processor state and maximum processor state both on battery and while plugged in. The thing is here that maximum processor state is at 100 and uh, you want to set it down to less than 100. So I set it down to 95 or maybe even down to 90. You can try it both. But at the moment we are in the balanced power mode and we can't get out of the balanced power mode because that is set from MSI Dragon Center. So what I have to do here is to go over to MSI Dragon Center and switch to either sport or turbo mode and then come back into the power plan to be able to customize these settings. So you go into power and sleep, additional power settings and then you have the option to choose high performance. My minimum processor state in high performance was set to 100%. So from what I understand, this means that the processor will be running at full blow, even though it really doesn't need to. Uh, so I'm turning that down, both the minimum and the maximum uh, processor state. And now you're going to see, uh, after I manage to log into my Blizzard account, you're going to see some gameplay footage that I just uh, screenshot from my computer and have a look, pay attention to the temperature figure up in the top left section. Uh, before I did this change, I was usually after undervolting, after doing like different things like cooling pads and using cooler boost mode and all this stuff, I was still running around 85, 86, sometimes uh, with intense play, like over 90 degrees, and I was really disturbed by it. After making these tweaks, I'm running the computer at 120 frames per second with the 120 hertz screen, and I'm hovering like between 75 degrees and 80 degrees. So yeah, you can just like look at my fantastic fair gameplay or you can look at the temperature meter and then I'll be right back in the end of the gameplay to sum this thing up.
All right, we're coming in towards the end of this gameplay. And if you've been watching the temperature meter on the top left, you've seen that we've been around 77, 78, 79 degrees most of the time. A few moments we've hit 80 degrees, but most of the time this is actually really playable. And while I was recording this gameplay, the computer wasn't too hot to play it like on the uh, built-in keyboard. So I'm actually really happy with these fixes. And I know that this might seem like a gimmick or like these changes might not help for everyone. But for me, they really made a difference. And this with undervolting, as well as using cooler boost and maybe a cooling pad will make my MSI laptop a lot more viable. So try it out to see if it helps. And then I will see you in the next video. Have a nice day.